Hi, welcome to part two on the video on CERD. So uh, in this video, I'm discussing the concept of rationalizing the denominator. So um, here is uh, the big idea of rationalizing the denominator. Uh, the idea is to remove the CERD in the denominator of a fraction. So if you have a fraction whereby you have a, have a CERD in the denominator, the idea of rationalizing is to remove this CERD in the denominator, okay? So I'm going to go through a range of examples. So here is example one. So we're going to rationalize and in part a one over root two. So let's go back to the paper and pen. So one over root two. So if you have um, a third only in the denominator of your fraction, so I have one term which is a third, so which is root two. So in cases like this, uh, in order to rationalize, so what we need to do is, so we have one over root two, we need to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by that exact term, which is root two. So if you have one root or one third in the denominator only, multiply the numerator and the denominator by that uh, exact term, yeah? So in this case, now we can simplify. Uh, one times root two on the top is root two. And remember, root two times root two is two. Okay, so if you multiply two roots of the same term, you just ignore the root, okay? So, and as you can see from the solution, I no, no longer have a third in the denominator of my fraction, so I've rationalized, okay? So back to the screenshots. So I have another example, a part B. So here's part B. Part B is to rationalize one plus root two over one minus root two. So back to the paper and pen. So. In this particular case, or, or in these cases, what you need to do is, if you want to rationalize, so I have one plus root two over one minus root two. So the idea here is, you multiply the top and the bottom by a similar term to the denominator. And I say similar because we only reverse this sign in the middle, okay? So we reverse this sign in the middle and we multiply the top and the bottom by that term. So reversing the sign here gives us plus. So I need to multiply the top by one plus root two and the bottom by one plus root two as well. So remember the idea, look at the sign in the center or in the middle in the denominator term, reverse that sign so if it's a minus, reverse it to plus. If it's a plus, reverse it to minus, yeah? Now, what we need to do is tidy this up. So we need to multiply the top two brackets and then we need to multiply the bottom two brackets, okay? Let me multiply the bottom two as a side calculation. So we're multiplying one minus root two by a one plus root two. So let's multiply. So in this case, one times one is one, okay? One times root two is one root two, or simply root two. Minus root two times one is minus root two. And minus root two times a root two is minus two, okay? So I can simplify further by adding the like terms, okay? One minus two is minus one, and plus root two and minus root two, you can cancel, okay? So you have minus one when you multiply the bottom pair of brackets. Let's do another side calculation, multiplying the top pair. So I'm multiplying one plus root two by another, one plus root two, okay? So let's have a go multiplying these two. One times one is one. One times root two is root two, okay? 
root 2 times 1 is root 2 and root 2 times root 2 is 2 okay and further to that let's add the like terms so 1 plus 2 is 3 and root 2 plus another root 2 is 2 root 2 okay so this is the solution when you multiply the top two this is the solution when you multiply the bottom pair of brackets so for the top two when we multiplied we had 3 plus 2 root 2 okay divided by when I multiply the bottom pair of brackets we had an answer of minus 1 okay and you can write this in two ways so you can divide each of the top terms by minus 1 to give you minus 3 minus 2 root 2 so 3 over minus 1 is minus 3 2 root 2 over minus 1 is minus 2 root 2 or you can take and you can factorize by minus 1 giving you a minus into 3 plus 2 root 2 okay so that should be the solution to part b so back to the screenshot so in this case 2 over 1 plus root 3 minus 1 over 1 minus root 3 okay so let's see how this is done let's see how this can be rationalized so back to the paper and pen so i have 2 over 1 plus root 3 minus uh, 1 over 1 minus root 3 so you can do this in, uh, in two ways so the first method is you can rationalize this first fraction and you can rationalize the second fraction and you can do uh, you can then get your answer to this when you rationalize minus get your answer to this when you rationalize so you can take away um, the answer to this from the answer to this and that should give you your answer your final answer or you can uh, use method 2 which I'm going to show you right now so method 2 is you can work out the common denominator of these two so the common denominator in this case is 1 plus root 3 1 minus root 3 okay and when you divide this common denominator so in your next step when you divide this overall common denominator by the original denominator here so this divided by 1 plus root 3 is going to be 1 minus root 3 so when you divide this by 1 plus root 3 you can think of it as um, the like terms will be cancelled through division giving you 1 minus root 3 1 minus root 3 then times 2 the top term is going to be 2 into 1 minus root 3 okay so let me just repeat what I said so um, in this step what I did is I divided our common denominator by this denominator here so this divided by this so when you divide you can block out the like terms giving you 1 minus root 3 when you divide multiplied by 2 is 2 into 1 minus root 3 minus in the middle so minus in the middle same concept here so when you divide this uh, common denominator by 1 minus root 3 so when you divide you can block out the like terms so you can ignore the 1 minus root 3's so when you divide you're going to get 1 plus root 3 1 plus root 3 times 1 is 1 plus root 3 okay now from here on let's multiply uh, the bottom pair brackets so let's multiply the bottom pair and then we'll simplify and multiply the top so we're multiplying the bottom pair 1 plus root 3 by a 1 minus root 3 so let's multiply out 1 times 1 is 1 1 times minus root 3 is minus root 3 root 3 times 1 is root 3 and root 3 times minus root 3 is minus 3
Okay, so be careful uh, when you multiply out. So let's add the like terms. So one minus three is minus two and minus root three plus root three, you can cancel these two terms, giving you overall minus two. So bearing in mind, minus two is the solution for when you multiply the bottom pair of brackets. So let's go to the main part of the calculation. Let's expand the top. Two times one is two. Two times minus root three is minus two root three. Minus times one is minus one. And minus times plus root three is minus root three. Divided by, so divided by. And when we multiplied out the bottom pair of brackets, we had minus two. Okay. So we can simplify further. So in a numerator, two minus one is one minus two root three, minus root three is minus three root three divided by minus two. So this should be the solution to part C. So back to the screenshot. So here's part D. So we need to rationalize two plus root two squared over two minus root two. So let's see how we can do this example. So back to the paper and pen two. So in this case, so remember the idea over here. So I have two plus root two squared over two minus root two. So remember the idea over here is we need to multiply the numerator and the denominator by a similar term to the denominator here but the only difference is we reverse the sign in the middle. So we reverse the center sign. So then we reverse that sign to a plus. So we need to multiply the top by two plus root two and the bottom by two plus root two as well. Okay, so you need to multiply the top and the bottom by a similar term, but you just reverse that center sign. So minus goes to plus. So let's do a side calculation. Firstly, for the bottom pair. So let's multiply out two minus root two by a two plus root two. So let's multiply out two times two is four. Okay. Two times root two is two root two. Then minus root two times two is minus two root two. And finally, minus root two times plus root two is minus two. Okay. So further to that, let's add the like terms. Four minus two is two. And the two root two terms plus and minus will cancel out. Okay. So you've got minus, uh, you've got two rather when you multiply the bottom pair brackets. Now let's focus our attention to the top. Uh, the numerator. So we're multiplying out 2 plus root 2 squared by another 2 plus root 2. So you can do this in two ways. You can find a solution to 2 plus root 2 squared and multiply that solution by another 2 plus root 2 or 2 plus root 2 squared times two plus root two is the same as two plus root two cubed. And with this being said, there is an identity for a plus b cubed. So this comes from the binomial theorem or Pascal's triangle, okay? So a plus b cubed is the same as a cubed. So it's a cubed plus three a squared b plus 3ab squared uh, plus b cubed. So you can use this identity instead, um, which comes from the binomial theorem or Pascal's triangle, okay? So by comparison, the a term is two. So a is two, b is root two, 
so B is root 2. So if I replace A and B uh, in this identity, we're going to have A, which is root uh, 2. So it's A is 2 plus B is root 2 cubed. That is the same as A cubed. A is 2, so 2 cubed plus the 3, so plus the 3. A squared, A is 2, so 2 squared times B. B is root 2, okay, uh, plus 3, so 3a, which is 2, times b squared, b is root 2, so root 2 squared, plus, so plus, b, which is root 2, so root 2, don't forget the cubes. Okay, so carefully replace the a by 2 and the b by root 2 into your identity and let's continue so 2 cubed is 8 okay plus so a plus 2 squared is 4 4 times 3 is 12 12 times root 2 12 root 2 plus so plus root 2 squared remember root 2 squared, root 2 times root 2, which is 2, okay? But 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, okay? Plus over here, so plus, and root 2 cubed, so root 2 cubed, that is the same as a root 2 times a root 2 uh, times a root 2, okay? And root 2 times root 2, we know is 2. And 2 times root 2 is 2 root 2. Okay? So I broke down that part of the calculation here above in using red, yep. Yeah? So now we come to this step here. So let's add the like terms. 8 plus 12 is 20 plus 12 root 2 plus 2 root 2 is 14 root 2, okay? So that should be the solution for when you multiply the top brackets here, okay? So let's implement these uh, the solutions to the side calculations uh, in the main calculation. So when we expanded the top, we had 20 plus 14 root 2, okay, uh, divided by, and when we multiplied the bottom pair of bra brackets as a side calculation, we had 2, okay. So if I continue along the line, we can simplify. So what I'm going to do is, if I factorise the top, so if I factorise the top and take out a common factor of 2, okay, I'm left with 10 plus 7 root 2, so be careful when you factorise, okay, divided by the 2 below. And from here on, I can cancel this 2 and with the 2 below, giving me an overall answer of 10 plus 7 root 2. So this should be the final answer for when you rationalise uh, part D, okay. So that completes this example and that sadly ends the video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, a like would be very much appreciated and I hope to see you again. Thank you.